Hi everyone, Jenna here from Pageant Suit Rental and today I'm going to talk about how to measure for a pageant suit rental. Um, you're only going to need a few things, a tape measure, a pen, and a paper. And today, uh, um, if you don't have a tape measure, just email me and I'll send you one for free. It's a pageant suit rental tape measure and I'll send it to you right away. So whether or not you're measuring for yourself or your daughter, you want to follow the guidelines that are on my website. And it is five steps, that's all it is. But I need you to measure accurately for the precise measurements when I'm shipping out a suit for you. The first measurement we're going to take is from the shoulder seam to the other shoulder seam. So right now we have a suit for an adult. The sh seam ends from the shoulder where the sleeve is to the other sleeve. So you're going to take your tape measure and measure across the front and just measure the seam where you, you see the line for the sleeve. So right now it measures at 14. And then write that down for number one would be 14 inches. If you're measuring for a child and say they don't have a suit on, whatever they're wearing, they're, if they're wearing a t-shirt, they're going to have some kind of seam on their t-shirt that you can reference to. So you're going to measure from the t-shirt sleeve to the t-shirt sleeve and then that would be your reference number. So for a child, she measures at 12 and a half and this measures around a size 4 or 5. Then for step number two, you're going to measure around the bust line. But for step number two measurements, we're not going to go all the way around because most of my measurements on my website are measured flat. So when I take my suit on my website and measure, I measure the flat suit because I can't always get my suits on a dummy to measure accurately. So my most, me most accurate measurements are going to be measuring flat. So when your child is standing, you take the under armpit, the middle, and you wrap it around to the under armpit, all directly underneath, directly in the middle, and that would be your number two reference, which would be number 19. For a child, directly under the armpit gives me 14 and a half inches. So that would be your number two. So write that down for number two. Now number three is going to be your waistline. This is going to be your natural waistline and not where you normally wear your pants. I know it's comfortable to wear your pants and skirts below your belly button, but for interview suits, the skirt has to go on your natural waistline. So when you measure your waistline, take the skinniest part of your waist and measure it all the way around. Although my pants are all the way down here, don't measure that. Measure your skinniest part of your waist and take that number and for my website divide it by two and write that number down as your number three. So number three would be your waistline. So for number four would be your sleeve. Whether it be long sleeve for suits usually are, are three quarter or long sleeve. There are some little girl suits that are short sleeve but I don't offer them in my website. For the measurements you want to take where your seam is, where you measured from number one, the seam of where your shirt is, that line, and measure all the way down to your wrist. So when you measure your wrist, you're going to measure where you're comfortable wearing a sleeve Keep in mind when you do your 
Spokes model, your arm is bent and your sleeve will be shortened. Or when you're doing interview or introduction, your sleeve will be shortened. Some of my sleeves have ruffles on them, which make them appear a little bit longer. So put down a comfortable length that you want, that you're okay with when it bends. So right now, her arm length would be 20, but this is more of a uh, shorter length. It's not going to go past her wrist. It's going to go right before her wrist. And for the little girl, it's gonna go right at the bottom of her wrist. So when it bends, it'll hit right here. So measure within an inch or two would be comfortable to be able to bend your arm to hold a microphone for spokes model or introduction or whatever you need to do. And then that would be your number four guideline for measuring. And then your fifth guideline number that I need is going to be the skirt length. It typically is, um, the skirt length should be above the knee. Not too much above the knee. We want to keep it professional, but when you measure the skirt length, it's going to be from your natural waistline down. So measure down the skirt length. This is 20 and a half inches. This would be a skirt for an adult size two with a skirt length below the knee. So if you want it, um, skirts that go above the knee, make sure you measure accordingly. So mine would fall around 18 to 20 inches comfortably above the knee. And then that would be your reference for the number five spot. All my suits are custom made that are on my website. So if you don't see anything that fits into your specific body type, I do have several suits that are not on my website and they can be altered to fit certain body types um, by tips and tricks that I've learned along the ways um, with suits uh, certain things that I've invented along the ways with suit cinchers, um, these button in the back and it looks very decorative. You can't tell that it actually tightens the suit from the back to make it look appear like you have a better waistline. Um, it hooks to the back. Of course it would match this color of the suit. This is for that suit. Um, it hooks to the back and then it pulls the suit tight to give it a skinnier waistline. Then if you still feel um, there's no suits that are tight enough that would fill, fit in the chest area, I can always move buttons over to make it fit tighter or looser depending on how much leeway I have in the skirt. And um, if skirts seem too long, they can always be hiked up. And temporary hems can be put into um, place with certain lengths of skirts. So if they are too long, I do offer temporary hems. You just have to notify me well in advance of when your pageant is. And I can make sure that the hem is um, done and if you have a skirt that say doesn't have a ruffle but it's too short I can always offer to put a ruffle in if I have the uh, fabric available to make the skirt longer if it is in fact too short for the child or person wanting to rent the suit so there you have it the five uh, tips for accurately measuring for a passion suit rental. If you guys need to take measure, just email me and I'll send one out to you right away. Thank you so much.